I mean, the, the thing is, the big thing people always want to know is what's your favourite episode? And, you know, I mean, man, I never had a favourite episode until I shot episode 7000, which became my favourite episode because it was it was – Partly because it's what I love doing, which is stupid. It is stupid. <laughs> I, just, I love doing stupid yeah. stuff. Um, it's I true. love comedy. So uh, in that particular episode, I Carl is he's just he's got a bit of spare time, a bit of loose loose time. So he's just mucking around. He finds a scratchy ticket, uh, you know, one of the, the scratchies that uh, and it hasn't been scratched since worth seven thousand dollars. Well, Carl Kennedy, we know he's pretty stingy. Seven thousand is a uh, is a million to him. <laughs> so he's very excited, but he. He's on a quest to find lemons that day so he can make some lemon curd. So he roams all over Erinsborough, uh, loses his scratchy ticket and has to retrace his steps. Now he has adventures the whole way. Uh, when he eventually gets to Toadie's place, Toadie's hosting a naturalist lunch. Uh, so the, 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 he's nude in there with his, his guests. Uh, and uh, the only way Carl can get in is if he nudes up as well. So uh, being nude in Toadie's house and finding the scratchy stuck to Toadie's ass was... <laughs> The highlight of my life. Uh, I love that episode yeah. to death. And um, in terms of other favourites, of course, there's there's some absolutely you know classic moments uh, with uh, with uh, Jackie, where you know the big the big affair mm. moments, and with Izzy. I think Paul uh, Robinson being in bed with Izzy when I came home one one time, and he ends up getting under the bed and tickling her toes while I try to make love to her. That was um, <laughs> that was quite a day. Um, <laughs> I mean, one of my favourites is when I had to ostensibly give Stingray a medical examination on the possibility he might have some sort of venereal disease. <laughs> and we did this bizarre scene where I go, he sat on my kitchen bench with his back to camera while I ostensibly um, had a look at his bits. <laughs> <laughs> we got up to some weird stuff. <laughs> so, uh, um, there's, there's a lot of silly things like that, stealing gnomes and blah, blah, blah. Um, Has there been a moment that's yeah, been like but, for you as an actor where you've just, where you felt the most there, where you've gone or you've come out of it going, that scene, I couldn't, there was, there was no, that, that was perfect to me and how I did it. I was, or I was just so absorbed in it. Is there, like, I mean, I'm sure you, you yeah, would do it all the time because you're amazing, but like, I think... I don't know. It's, it's a really good question because um, you know there are there are some scenes you become you know big emotional scenes that you can become really absorbed in. I, I think one day of filming that I will never forget was when Libby married Drew and we had the, the their wedding reception, and because the church service was beautiful, that was shot on location, and then we had the reception in studio. So it was kind of an entire day to shoot the reception. These big scenes take a long mm -hmm. time. But it never, it didn't feel like work because um, I'm very close to Kim Valentine, and I, it was almost like my wife was actually watching my own daughter get married, and so all the speeches were very emotional, very enjoyable. Everyone was so connected into all the moments. Um, uh, the lovely Danny Paris, uh, you know, sings to Libby, and it was just glorious uh, because he's Scottish and he's in his kilt, and a glorious day. And, and it just didn't feel, it didn't feel like work. It just felt like, man, we're all in this here together, and it, it felt real and beautiful. Um, that was a great yeah. day. Yeah, well, that's great. really nice. Do you have a favourite set yeah. that you like to work on? Oh, yeah, it's good. Wow, that's a good question. I've never really thought about that. Favourite set? Do you, like, do you like studio or do you um, like location, which is out, out, outside or inside for everyone at home? I, 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 I think I probably prefer studio because I love working yeah. fast, and in in the early days of Neighbours, we we were even faster because they had three cameras and all three cameras were they used to switch between them. So the director and the and the director's assistant would actually kind of edit the show as it went along. And over the years, we've become a lot more sophisticated. The the shooting quality is much higher, uh, and the you know obviously we're in high definition. And so now we shoot like it's a film and it's edited. So that's a lot better. Better angles, better lighting, looks amazing. Um, but part of me, as a stage actor, quite liked those early days mm. because it was almost like we were doing a play that they they happened to be filming. So you know, we it, we we'd start the scene and finish the scene in one go, and uh, and they would get it, they'd get the scene. 
Um, and, uh, you know, you had to be completely on your money. Every mark had to be hit perfectly. Every line had to be said perfectly. There was no, not, no, you know, there was no kind of, oh, can I, can I just yeah. pick that up? It was no, no, we have to go back to the beginning. Um, fun, fun fact. So, yeah, that's but, how play school shoots. It used to record directly to film. They'd live switch it, uh, which is why in a lot of those older episodes, if you, if you watch through till the end, that last five minutes, a lot of sexual innuendo starts getting, <laughs> into yeah, yeah. into it because the actors know there's no way they're doing this again so they started to play a bit uh, now they do it a bit uh, they break it up more into sort of segments but you're still you're still doing three camera shoot and then one camera will drift away and then you'll finish with two cameras and then somebody else that other presenter starts talking the cameras drift across um, and it's that same thing it's like long takes What the, the and I, I, I always talk about it being the hardest show I've shot because technically you're monitoring yourself you're having to talk to a camera as if it's a a five-year-old kid quietly sitting and, and trying to make it a really enjoyable thing from them and make it sound like everyone asks if it's improvised. And it's really not. Everything's scripted perfectly. There's child uh, educators who scale the script, who come to rehearsal, watch it, make sure that every word's going to translate to a child. So every word is specific. But So you've got to do all this, meanwhile, holding little cardboard things with faces on them, and you can't see the yeah. faces because you're looking at the camera, and the camera doesn't want to ever see you looking at the monitor. So you have to always look at the camera and hope that your faces are facing the wow. right direction, uh, which is a little bit crazy. Wow. So it's, it's, yeah. it's cool to hear that that's how that's Neighbours tough. used to be shot. Um, yeah. Such a tough gig. Unfortunately, I never got to see you on play school because my nippers had grown up by the time you were on it. And um, so uh, Noni Hazelhurst uh, was was kind of it, uh, our our uh, our play school. Yeah, well, she was for me too. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah but when the nippers were very young. Um, yeah, yeah, some people do always sometimes ask, you know, would we shoot a, a live episode of Neighbours because some soaps have done it. Mm. I'm praying that we never do it. <laughs> Um, <laughs> it's uh, just <laughs> I think it would be a disaster. Um, <laughs> you have no but, confidence in her, Sletch. No confidence. Oh no! It's just you know, I, I, so I remember seeing in one Australian show did a live episode of yeah, Blue Hill. I remember watching and, that. You know, it was ridiculous. You, you could see actors waiting in the wings, and yeah, you know, no, it's um, <laughs> I don't think we need to be going there. Oh. Hello, and thank you for watching this Tech Talks clip. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. If you want to see the full conversation, click here. If you want to see all of the Tech Talk clips, click here. And if you want to see all of the Tech Talk conversations, click here.